change is inevitable, right? I mean, there's no way of knowing for sure what will happen tomorrow. Artificial intelligence and other new technologies will probably take people's jobs. A future pandemic could have unexpected outcomes or even something worse. At the end of the day, the only constant is change itself. There's a second certainty, and that is a changing world needs leaders, right? Globally, people are suffering from devastations like storms, wars, disease, and much, much more. Globally, leaders can rally volunteers to help solve the world's problems. Hi, I'm Jason. I believe that people need to experience volunteering and to experience positive changes. I believe that everybody needs to experience everything, needs to experience volunteering as much as possible. Start volunteering, then move into leadership. Lead positive changes. Your first volunteering experience should feel rewarding, not what I experienced. Back in 2016, there I was, standing at the gates of a neighborhood park. I was in fifth grade when the when the principal in charge of my former school announced a school-wide event. Lots of different activities, and I chose to help clean up a neighborhood park. When I got there, the park looked beautiful. A blue sky like a splash of cerulean above us. One that plays with the sunlight on these fine days. One that promises to be the canvas for our laughter. It is on days like this where you can have both of your feet firmly planted in the silky grass. It's time both stops and stretches to the infinite. Two boys about my age arrive with a teacher wearing khaki shorts. As a teacher hands over black gloves, trash pickers, and trash bags to each of us, he points, dividing the park into three sections. You, you take the soccer field. You, you take the swings. And you, pointing at me, you take the picnic area. He then pulls out two things from his pockets, blue-rimmed sunglasses and a tattered book, Lord of the Flies. He then saunters off to get lost in the pages. The two boys, obviously, then glance knowingly at each other, and of course, they ran towards the swings. Now, I felt shocked, frustrated, irritated, and confused as I placed brightly colored candy wrappers, warped water bottles, and insect-coated food wrappers into my bag. After 30 minutes, the picnic area was trash-free. And from there on, I knew I hated volunteering. Earlier, I told you that leaders can rally volunteers. But what if that we all decide at a young age we hate volunteering? If that happened to you, who would you blame? The teacher? The fifth grade boys? Today, in retrospect, I have a different opinion about who or what to blame. I realized that that day, four people suffered. Two boys goofing off, one disengaged teacher, and of course, me. Also, the park suffered, being only one third of the way clean. And lastly, our future suffered. Will these people ever volunteer again in the future? I think differently now because of a friend from school. Back in sixth grade in the playground near the monkey bars, a friend from school tells me, hey, Jason, you want to uh, try something pretty cool after school? I then responded by saying, yeah, sure, why not? He then says that there's this club meeting after school, planning adventurous journeys. But when I get there, I find out that this is actually a volunteering club called Leo. As you know, I hated volunteering, but I was trapped. I didn't want to be rude and just walk out the door and leave. Leo is a youth branch of Lions Club, an international organization. 1.4 million men and women serving both locally and globally. These meetings give you an experience with real-life business meetings. More importantly, everybody shares a common goal. For example, beach cleanups or gathering donations for a food bank or gathering money to help new immigrants. Working together is fun. Everybody knows their part. Everybody can celebrate real results, positive changes. Then two years later in September, Friends at Leo say, because you like volunteering and are pretty organized, maybe you should run for vice secretary. Now, 
I'm a Leo Club officer. I constantly think about leadership and how to give young people like me positive volunteering experiences that will naturally progress into successful leadership experiences. When I think of Friday in the park, I think that the lead organizer probably had good intentions. I mean, he identified projects that needed volunteers. However, a volunteering experience, no matter how big or small, without effective communication, can never be successful. Have you ever heard the saying, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing? In big companies, it means that communication is terrible, causing really big problems. Either leaders aren't effectively communicating expectations, or workforces aren't effectively communicating problems with implementation. Either way, dysfunctional organizations fail. I believe that everybody should know the goals, group and individual responsibilities, and to celebrate the results. The left hand should always know what the right hand is doing. See, if you lead a LEO project, you have to inform volunteers before, during, and after an event. We involve parents too, and the organizations that we support. Start young. Go in an organization with effective communication, then move into executive administration. You will make friends, rack up rewarding memories along the way, and your brain will be challenged. Like me, you'll probably think about leadership and effective communication even when you're alone. Back in April 2020, during the global pandemic COVID-19, I was sheltered in place, going crazy, home alone. Parents are out shopping on Wednesday night, and on YouTube, I see a chess strategy that I desperately want to try. Unfortunately, I have nobody to play with. But what if, I think to myself, I play by myself? Crazy, right? Right hand, white pieces, left hand, black pieces. My living room looked relaxing, natural light, a mahogany colored carpet, a picture of a beach on the easternmost wall depicting idyllic sand on rolling waves. I set up the chessboard horizontally on a stone coffee table. White pieces will play the black pieces. White pawn to e4, black pawn to e5. Now you know you can play chess alone. Fast forward to the strategy. White set the trap with a bait, a white pawn. Black's supposed to react by capturing my white bishop, skewering the king, but unintentionally sacrificing itself in the process. White will win. Unfortunately for me, the opponent that I face off against is none other than myself. Meaning, my opponent, my left hand, already knows about the trap. This means my right hand is in a terrible situation. Then I thought to myself, chess is kind of like an organization, like my Leo club. Both in chess and in Leo, we have to manage time, resources, and we might even have some internal struggles. Then I really thought to myself and asked myself, should the left hand always know what the right hand is doing? See, if you lead a LEO project, you have to inform volunteers before, during, and after an event, as I told you. But if you lead a project, you also have to ask people. You also have to ask your companions and the people in your club, what do you think is the best idea? Once you've determined the best idea, you then involve everybody. In the testing phase, you're not supposed to involve everybody to avoid any unnecessary chaos. Sitting on my couch that Wednesday, two things happened. Number one, I decided that usually, but not always, the left hand should know what the right hand is doing. Second of all, my left hand won. More importantly, I gained greater insights because I think about leadership all the time, even when I'm alone. When you write the story of your life, Make sure you hold the pen. Make sure not only you hold the pen, but that you write the script from the bottom of your heart. It's your story after all, and there are no limits to what you can do, what you can be, and more importantly, the contributions that you can make to change this world into a better place. Globally, the world has problems. People are suffering. We need volunteers. We need effective leaders. Start young. Start now.